Today I'd like to share with you this magical practice of sun salutations or Surya Namaskar. So today we'll go through a few different variations and modifications. It's really, really important to focus in on the breath. We'll come to the front of the mat and we'll begin in mountain pose, a simple standing posture. Take your breath in as you lift the chest up to the sky and press back into our downward facing dog posture. So in downward facing dog, we'll start from the hands as we ground down through the knuckles, squeeze the shoulder blades up the spine, broaden the shoulders, hugging the belly in to the spine and lifting the hips up. So our chair version is a lot less intense. And we can exhale, fold forward, plant the hands down to the chair and we'll come into our modified downward dog position. So the first one that we learned uh, was Sun Salutations A. This one will throw in a couple other postures uh, just to intensify the practice. The right foot, so left heel plants, right foot steps forward, inhale, raise up. So the next variation I call the crisscross uh, version of Sun Salutations. Maybe take it up, hug the core, lift the knee, crisscross mountain, and we'll take the right foot right over the left knee. This next and final version of sun salutations is more of a creative flow, mixing in some martial arts movements and just getting the body to simply move and breathe. And we'll do a block here as we point the fingers to the sides, bending the back knee here and gazing forward. Because in the practice of yoga, we work to build our flexibility and muscle strength. But most importantly, it's to really get into the organs. So, so all your precious organs that you use to digest, to regulate hormones, to improve circulation in the body, all of that with these simple movements and a simple practice every day or maybe every other day can really go a long, long way for your overall well-being and health.